Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Buttons are the crucial components of any app. Buttons provide action to user interface to any app. With the release of Swift UI 3, Apple has released a bunch of new updates to buttons, which includes new button view and lots of new modifiers. It also includes new bordered and bordered prominent button styles in conjunction with control size and button border shape view. And finally, Swift UI also includes a new location button also. In this video, we are going to take a look of all these new changes and how to make more interesting buttons using Swift UI. Before starting, we need to set the deployment to iOS 15 and Mac OS 12. You create a button by providing an action and a label. The action is either a method or closure property that does something when a user clicks or taps the button. The label is a view that describes the button's action, for example, by showing text, an icon or both. Inside label, we type text, inside it, we type the string and we can finally see our button inside the preview. New button modifier called as button style it, some value here have created a bordered button. This will add border and background around the text along with some padding. Let's wrap button inside the VStack. We can also color the button using tint modifier in button view. To increase the size of button to match the display size, with we can create a frame modifier and add infinity value. Let's now create another button similar to our previous button called prominent and inside our button style modifier, we need to add bordered prominent, this will color the button to tint color. New in Swift UI release 3, you can provide an optional button role by default. It is nil and uses a standard one. But you can set the predefined role provided by button role nm. The role can be destructive or cancel. Here in this case, we have created a destructive button which generally used for delete action. Similarly, we can create a cancel button which is used to cancel anything we want. Another new modifier to button is control size. Inside control size, we can change size of button, small, large, mini or regular. And all these size are predefined inside Swift UI. We have created a new button then added modifier control size. Let's wrap our view inside the navigation view. Then wrap VStack inside the scroll view. Also add navigation title. Let's take a look to button inside toolbar. To create a toolbar, we use toolbar modifier inside navigation view. Then inside it, we create a menu as an option. 
and inside option, we create two buttons, one with very basic layout. Inside other, we add role as destructive. So here we can see that our add role to destructive automatically creates a delete button. Let's now take a look to button border shape modifier. Create another button. Then inside add button border shape modifier. Then inside it we use capsule shape. We can also add rounded rectangle and also add corner radius. Now let's look another addition to button is new location button. For this we need to import core location UI. Then we use location button view then inside it we can add this button to send current location. And for the label style use title and icon. This will create a button with location icon and current location text also. Let's now create some gradient button to do so. First create a basic button. Then inside label we add text bold. Foreground color to white then add frame width and height. Then inside the background we add linear gradient. We add the array of color then add starting and ending point. And finally we can add clip shape to capsule shape. We can also create an inverted color button by simply removing the background and clip shape. And add new overlay as capsule shape. Then add stroke modifier to capsule shape. And finally add linear gradient. To create a radial gradient, we create another button. Inside background, we use radial gradient, then add a color and we add the center starting and ending point. And add clip shape to circle. This will create a button with radial gradient. Now let's create an angular gradient. To use angular gradient, we need to add gradient and center point. So this is how we use new features of button using Swift UI. There are a lot of new opportunities for customizing buttons both in Swift UI and UI kit. New control size and prominence APIs will play a crucial role in styling Swift UI buttons without implementing custom button styles. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.